Every company is only creating more digital media files in order to stay relevant. So how does a company find, use, and reuse those digital media files when they need them? The answer is metadata. And the solution is mydamnservices.com. Hi, everyone, and welcome to My Damn Services. My Damn Services, the most efficient way to free up your digital asset management professionals and grow your business. My name is Frank DiCarlo, and the man online and co-founding with me is Henrik DeGeer. Hello, everyone. Today, Henrik and I are going to be speaking on all the damn reasons that support who is managing metadata and how that significantly affects the digital asset employer and practitioner. Digital asset management, DAM, of course, is comprehensive software that safely stores, organizes, and shares digital media files like photos and videos. In our 40 plus years of experience, Henrik and I bring a wealth of knowledge to many phases and aspects of your damn journey, and we're here to help. So let's get to it. The management of your digital assets are only as strong as your metadata. You can have the best digital asset management system known to DAM, but if your metadata is weak or entry is lagging, the return on investment bottleneck begins to stagnate your assets. And those files, images, videos that your company has spent so much time and money on to create will not reach the teams that need them. So Henrik, do you uh, want to start off and speak a little bit on the distinction in who is managing metadata today? Thanks, Frank. Yeah, absolutely. So the why do you need dedicated individuals to work on metadata? Uh, typically, you have specialities within your organization or company. Uh, sometimes it's tedious. Uh, it definitely needs to be consistent. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be consistent for every single asset or every single file that you're producing. Otherwise, it's not helpful at all. Because if everything's tagged with the company name, well, that's great. It may be with the company names, assets, for the sake of argument, but you need categorization instead so that it's categorized by the products or services or the individuals or whatever is necessary uh, for the categorization and the, more importantly, that categorization helps the searchability, right, for those assets. And the who is typically the individuals who have the knowledge and how to do this properly, right, and tag it consistently and importantly, categorize it with the necessary information. Sometimes it's institutional knowledge. Sometimes it's very specific to the product and they need product information about it. Sometimes it's uh, knowledge about something else, right? Um, whether it's uh, scientific knowledge, whether it's knowledge of the media in question um, or the creation or the, the why it was created or what's it for or who's it for. But the who, the individuals who are creating the metadata, aren't necessarily your audience, right? The people who are going to search for it are not necessarily the ones who are going to apply the metadata. That's a key thing to understand. So they aren't necessarily incentivized as much as the people who want to find it again. And that's very key information to know about. Um, but more importantly, uh, what happens if you don't have dedicated people to doing this? Well, either it doesn't get done, number one which is crucially a big, big mistake if you're going to have a digital asset management system. Because back to Frank's point, if you don't have um, uh, metadata and you have a dam and you have a, a bunch of assets in your dam, you're not going to find those assets in a very quick fashion, which is the entire point of a dam in the first place. If you can't find it, you can't use it, right? So the, the who that's going to apply that metadata to your assets uh, in a consistent fashion, so it's categorized, so it's searchable, needs to be consistent and available as often as you have new assets that are created or acquired by your organization. So that that team, whether it's a team or individuals or a individual that's, uh, that's going to be available to do that, needs to be there. And if it's not done, it's not done, consistency, not done consistently. And more importantly, your damn vendor is not going to do it for you. Right? The vendors that are selling you the technology are not applying the technology for you. And if you think that AI tagging is going to do it alone, you're mistaken because that's a nice pass through. It's a nice maybe surface level covering, but the humans will do a much better uh, job. Not necessarily as fast because we all know that machines are faster than, than humans, but more consistently and potentially more accurately because accuracy is still paramount for everyone 
that they need to know the difference between, obviously uh, the difference between an apple and a banana, but difference between what kind of thing it is, right? Within your own institution, as accurate as you need to know it. So accuracy is still relying on humans at this point in time. Uh, we wish it was uh, machines, it would be done a lot faster. But what, since it's not, this is why we're offering my damn services. And the, the key thing is you under, need to understand how many assets that you have that are created or acquired and how cyclical it is, whether it's just your legacy assets, whether you're a 10 year old company or a hundred year old organization, right? Um, and understanding who's gonna do that information, that information gathering and applying metadata on your assets. Um, so yeah, the great points, Henrik, and um, for people that have been involved and have digital asset management systems, they know the importance of metadata and how crucial it is um, in being able to find what you need. And unfortunately, there's a lot of misconceptions with AI, with um, people just starting to get involved in uh, digital asset management, think that's gonna be a, a big part uh, in, uh, in their success. Because it's true. I mean, there's a lot of great damn vendors out there, but they really are interested in selling you the software. And uh, it's up to you and vendors like ourselves to help you make it work. Um, there are, it's, it hasn't really changed over the years. Metadata for a digital asset management professional continues to be a huge part of what they're doing. And that could be as little as 40% or as large as 90%, depending on the uh, the responsibilities and what's uh, entailed in, their, in uh, what they need to do. So um, the who can really translate to the amount of time that uh, your assets are being tagged properly. There's, uh, we've discussed in other uh, webinars uh, how the responsibilities of digital asset management professionals have changed today, that there's a lot more uh, having to do with user adoption, governance and taxonomies and moving um, everything through the enterprise. Uh, but the consistent um, the nature of digital asset management has to do with how you search, because if you can't find it, your asset management system isn't really doing you a lot of good. So um, it's important to uh, remember that uh, the who is uh, dictates the amount of time that uh, is spent on actual metadata entry. Yep. And so, so my damn services offers that uh, augmentation of that who, because obviously you need a damn professional or a professional who's going to be tagging your stuff. Uh, and applying metadata to your stuff, your digital assets, uh, your audio, your video, your text, your graphics, your photos, um, but also and, and quality checking it as well if, it, if it's done by multiple parties. But more importantly, um, if there's a large amount, like say over a thousand, I think it's well worth the effort to potentially looking in the option of using mydamnservices.com to augment that work so that back to Frank's point, you can have your damn professional and those people doing their job, but then it can be augmented 24 seven or for a large project, whether it's uh, all your legacy assets or for a very large seasonal project, for example, or if you have something that's um, a height, heightened amount of number of assets, um, we can definitely help with that. Yeah, significantly uh, increased production, faster time to market, and round the clock if that's what's uh, if that is what's needed. And believe it or not, there aren't a lot of uh, who's out there that actually enjoy entering metadata. And um, sometimes it's left as the last uh, resort to what their job is because it actually you know it needs to get done. Um, but if that was uh, eliminated for them, or at least uh, supplemented by our services and being able to uh, help them with that, um, you get that much more done in a, a given amount of time. So um, we're happy to help. For sure. Three. Uh, so check out uh, mydamnservices.com or send us an email at solutions at mydamnservices.com. Who applies metadata to your digital media assets. Find out how My Damn Services can help your company by visiting mydamservices.com and schedule a call with us today.